is if you didn't have any equipment, you need a golf club, um, that'd be great to get started with. But you're gonna open up your chest eight times by going straight across. I won't do all eight reps so that we can do this uh, quickly. And then you're gonna open up at an angle. And down here in Florida, we call this the Gator Chunk. If you're a Florida Gator fan, the Seminole fans don't like that, or Miami fans don't like that. We'll do both sides. Now the shoulders are good and warmed up. Then we're gonna take our golf club, we're gonna bend over and kind of rotate that club to go back to We'll do eight of these. I know I'm keeping it short. And two more down. So now my shoulders are warmed up, my thorax is warmed up, my core is kind of going, and I'm gonna get into my hips. And you're gonna do um, just kind of a squat with this across your chest. So up and down, through your heels. One thing that helps people if you elevate your heels on a ledge or like a couple books too, that'll make a squat a little bit easier. You can also sit down in a chair and stand up and down from a chair. So you do eight squats. And the last one is a uh, hinge. So squats primarily through the knees, a hinge is through your hips. those we work through that warm up one or two times so we feel good and loose and we're ready to do an exercise for vertical force I'll show you that in the next video an exercise for rotational mobility we're going to show you that in another video an exercise for chest strength and power and then finally some over speed training you'll get a feel for what a workout might look like with us online thank you I've said it before one of the biggest key factors in increasing club speed is vertical force production whether that's on two legs, like in a squat, or a single leg, like in a lunge, or a small back area. So we're going to do what's called a golfer squat. You can do this with or without a medicine ball or a weight, but um, without the weight or medicine ball, our arms are crossed. So we're going to squat down to our heels and work towards a downswing. Very explosive in nature. I can do this from a stool or a chair, and I'm working upward almost as if I'm jumping. Of course, I want to go both directions with all of these exercises to build vertical force production in the direction that we're trying to go and away from the direction. A big part of the golf swing is being able to rotate through some key areas in your body, your neck, shoulder rotation, thoracic rotation, hip rotation, even some ankle mobility. So um, this is thoracic rotation at a wall. Your significant other will not be happy about this. But uh, find a spot where you can get in a lunge position open and away from the wall, so the left leg's forward in this scenario, and I'm going to be turning left, so my leg and knee are locked against the wall, I'm using this one for some stability, I'm going to reach out here, get my chest pointing towards this direction, and then I'm going to do a big sunrise, sunset, reach behind, get my back towards the target, see them pressing into the wall, and then coming back through, so it looks like this, big way to improve this would be a downswing turn for me on the right hand above me. There's just a little pause to train myself to get that mobility. Okay, so this is shoulder letters. You're going to make uh, some letters of the alphabet with your body. We're going to do the letter A, T, Y, I, and then put them all together with what's called a snow angel. So um, you'll go face down. I got a towel roll to put my forehead on. I'll flip my hat backwards. Thumbs are up for all of these. So letter A, T, Y, I, Snow Angel. we're doing five, six, seven, eight reps of each of those uh, to get all angles of the shoulder as we reach above our head activities. One of my favorites to load the hip that you'll feel when you load into your golf swing, right lift loaded, left hip loaded, is the curtsy lunge. So for balance purposes, I use a golf club and I'm going to reach my right leg back behind me and around me like I'm doing a curtsy. So it looks like this. I can use two golf clubs if I need to. Loading this hip into a curtsy lunge. 
really pushing through the leg that's stationary in this. Of course, this can be done without a club. Loading into the head, make sure it's equal. So this is a disassociation which happens in the golf swing where the lower body um, goes one direction opposite of where the upper body would go. And so we can train that line down in kind of our dead bug position. So I've got a five iron. I'm going to be at 90-90. When my hips go left, my arms match the opposite. So you want those to be in sync and almost touching at the same time. The other direction. The key to club head speed is chest strength and power. And so, Show you ways to improve chest strength. One of my favorites, which is a push up. Now, push up can be scaled. I can do it against the wall. The further my feet away are from the wall, the harder it is. I can do it on a countertop or maybe like the, the armchair rest or anything where I'm here. Good. Of course, I can do that on the floor. The closer my knees are to my hands, the easier it is. And then, of course, the standard push up, which is where everything's up. We're working down and back up. So find the one that works with you and then we'll progress those from a strength, speed, and power standpoint. We don't own a super seat set. They have a light, medium, and heavy club. 